Question number three gives us a bottle cork floating in water. Uh, and you can see that from the diagram it is partially submerged in the water, part of it is below the water, part of it is above. So which of the following statements are true? Statement one, the net force acting on the cork is equal to the weight of the water displaced. Now, the net force acting on the cork is equal to the weight of the water displaced. Is the cork accelerating upwards or downwards? The answer is no, it is stationary, it is in equilibrium, the net force is equal to zero. Whereas the weight of the water, well, obviously the water being displaced is not, uh, does not have a weight that is zero. So this statement is incorrect. Statement number two, the weight of the cork is equal to the upthrust on the cork. Now this is the Archimedes principle. We know this to be true, that the weight of the water displaced by a submerged object is equal to the upthrust uh, acting on that object. So we can tick that. We know that statement two is correct. Finally, statement number three, the upthrust on the cork is equal to the mass of the water displaced. Well, that's a very similar statement to statement two, but you'll note that it is comparing an upthrust measured in newtons, that's a force, with a mass measured in kilograms. You can't do that. You can't compare some two quantities measured in completely uh, different units. This is uh, as crazy as comparing a length to a temperature. So statement three is absolutely incorrect, which means that only, do, only number two is correct. Therefore, the answer is D. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.